Lynn, and today I'm here with a first impressions video for you guys. I recently received the Cover FX Total Coverage Cream Foundation that I've been wanting to try. If you are subscribed to my vlog channel, then you know that I was in Sephora and I was like talking about trying this out. But whenever I, I have a foundation that I absolutely love, which is my Makeup Forever HD foundation and number 173. I tend to like cling to the foundation that I know works for me. So I'm very fortunate to have received this Cover FX um, cream foundation that I could actually try out and give my honest opinion to you guys. So how I am going to um, be applying this, I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender sponge. I feel like a sponge works the best with cream, um, especially when it's damp, I have more control over um, the foundation itself. So to start off, I'm going to use the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. Now this is also something that I've never tried before and I tend to get extremely oily in the uh, T-zone area. Just peel this off. So it's a gel and I'm just going to apply this to the T-zone area. So I'm just going to get a little bit on here and I'm going to do like one half of my face so you guys can kind of see the coverage. In the description of this foundation, it says that um, it's a full coverage foundation and concealer in one with broad spectrum. It has SPF 30 for protection. It gives an all day radiant finish that revitalizes the appearance of the skin and protects with age defying benefits. So let's see if it leaves you with a radiant finish. So. Oh, and by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Um, this is a foundation that I've been wanting to try and I got really lucky that they sent it to me to try out. So now I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinion about it. So, and I'm using um, N70. Okay, so, so far I'm loving the way it's looking in the mirror. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Okay, so you can, already see the difference that it's making and you don't need a lot I'm bringing around the brows up into the hairline onto my ears too bottom of my neck the good thing about it with the beauty blender um, being damp it allows you to use less product and you have more control. So as you can see from this side and that side, it has a pretty good coverage. So one of the first things that I noticed when um, applying this is that it's very lightweight. And it's not really heavy to say that it's a cream. And like I said, whenever you use a wet beauty blender, you're basically thinning out the um, foundation itself. So you're using less product. So this is that side. So I'm loving the coverage. It does look radiant and I do look more revitalized on this side as opposed to <laughs> this side. Ooh. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and finish up. Okay, and then to set it, I'm just going to use the uh, Illuminating Setting Powder by Cover FX as well. And I just wanna see how all of the products like work together. And as you can see, it like instantly gets rid of the shine. Now my biggest question is how long will the shine disappear for, you know? So instantly I can definitely see that it is full coverage and definitely buildable. Um, it is lightweight, not for me with creams and that's why I never really wore creams is that sometimes it gives you that very cakey finish. Um, it looks really thick and it just looks like greasy, a hot mess. But I did notice that with the primer and then also with the illuminating um, setting powder, if you use it all together, it definitely gives you more of a matte finish. It definitely gives you more of a fresh face. So it doesn't feel cakey. It feels like my skin. And this is just the first impressions. I love the coverage that it gives. It definitely, to me, feels like my skin. So I'm really excited about that. 
but I really want to see how it holds up throughout the day. So what I'm going to go do now, I'm going to go apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to check back in with you guys and then also check back in with you guys after I get back home from running a few errands. So I will talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, so this is my face after about 30 minutes. Um, I did really simple eyes, um, a bold lip. And I just really wanted to see how my makeup kind of lasted throughout the application of the rest of my makeup. It's hot in my makeup room with all the lights and stuff. So, so far so good. I'm not oily as of yet. I didn't blot as of yet. So that's a good sign after 30 minutes because there are some foundations that will make you look like a grease ball right away. So um, I can't really tell if the mattifying primer is doing its job or if the setting powder is doing its job just like just yet but so far so good i'm loving the way that the foundation is holding up i want to show you guys the texture of my skin to show you guys that it doesn't look like really cakey or whatever so i'm going to zoom in even closer and then um, show you guys that and then i'll be back for like an overall day type of review so here's the texture of my skin underneath my eyes i have a um banana powder for my under eye concealer but you can see the texture of my skin um, isn't like super cakey. So I love that. Hey guys, so I am back from a day out with Trav and running a few errands. And it is now after 10 p.m. So I've had um, this makeup on for about six, about six hours now. Um, and it's still holding up pretty well. I haven't blotted not one time. Um, and the only greasy area that I really see, um, kind of oily area, is like right here in my chin area. And of course, this is an area where I didn't even like apply any primer um, because I normally don't get greasy um, in like all my chin area. Um, like if I'm wearing my Makeup Forever HD foundation, but since it is cream, um, I noticed that you know it will tend to kind of um, become more of like a greasy texture if you don't apply um, a matte primer or you don't set it and I didn't really apply um, translucent translucent powder in this area because I was too busy focusing on my t-zone area so one thing that I am happy about is that the foundation did not oxidize it did not turn orange it did not um, you know get darker it's the exact same color as it was before I left home so that's a really good thing it's a it's a plus um like i said the only thing that i really noticed is that um i got a little oily here and then i also noticed when i'm looking in the mirror that i got a little bit oily like around my nose area but overall i really and truly like um the cover fx cream foundation this is something that i think i will be wearing more often because um i did not have to use a lot of product and i still got full coverage using that uh damn beauty blender did wonders it thinned out the um, cream foundation but it still gave me a really good coverage that was very buildable and I honestly believe if you use a flat top foundation brush you can still achieve this flawless look I just like the sponge because you have more control over it and it leaves a more seamless flawless finish in my opinion so overall I would give this foundation an 8.5 and I give it an 8.5 only because of the the greasiness that comes about um once you sweat and then two um oh and i did not notice that it transferred around my collar so that's something else um i did bring it down just a little bit but i did notice that it it does transfer um so yeah so 8.5 because it transfers a little bit um and it gets a little bit um, oily if you do not prime and if you do not set it so overall I really like it though it, I love love the coverage and this is something that I will see myself wearing more often I can't wait to just kind of play with it and, and wear more often you know I'm not gonna wear this to work because this is like 
a full coverage foundation but this would definitely be a foundation that I would love to wear whenever I'm hitting the red carpet or I'm going to events but um yeah it's definitely 8.5 in my book um it's definitely worth buying it's definitely worth the hype so that is basically it for my first impressions video I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did be sure to hit the thumbs up button that way I know that you like it and that way I can test out more things for the first time on camera and just give you guys my overall initial thought on certain products oh and another thing if you are not subscribed please be sure to hit the subscribe button right up in her so you can join the Missy Lynn family I love you guys so much and I have some amazing news coming soon and I want you to be the first to know so if you hit the subscribe button then you will automatically be updated every time I upload a new video so it's a no-brainer that you have to subscribe because if you want to know the business then you want to be the first to know so you want to be subscribed so yeah so that is basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time bye